Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to be continuing on with this team that we can see on your screen in front of you now. Now we've had two days already with this team, some incredible matches. If you'd like to check those out at any time now or after this episode, then I will link a card up there for you to check those matches out. We've had some really good games so far this week with the team and it's been really exciting playing this mix of random Pokemon. Now today is Wednesday, we can activate one of those four bonus buttons or we can activate all of them if we want, but I feel like with how the team has been getting on so far this week, I would like to give it at least one more chance. So what I've done today, rather than activate any bonus buttons, I've changed up a few of the sets in how we're operating with the team going forward, especially into this episode. Now, tomorrow we'll probably activate at least three bonus buttons. I don't know which ones we're going to activate, but we'll activate three tomorrow and then the final one on Friday this week to see if we can push on and get some results as we finish up the week with this team. Now, remember, today is the day that I posted up on the YouTube community section about your nominations for next week so do go over to that post and nominate those pokemon for next week's roulette team so thank you as always for all the nominations that we do get but uh, keep the nominations coming and keep in mind as well i did mention earlier in the week if you can look out for all those one hit KO Pokemon, I would love a team of one hit KO Pokemon. Now, what we might do, because we're getting closer to the new rules being released, and when they do, we're going to be reverting back to our Daily Battle series, just some more serious content to try and help you guys out. So, what I might do, if we don't get the one hit KO team next week, what I might do is create a one hit KO team, roulette team, to end up the series on and have a really fun week with just one hit KO moves it might be a lot of fun it would be a lot of fun in my eyes anyway so we'll see what we can do if that's something you would enjoy definitely let me know in the comment section below but before we get into today's episode I will just reiterate the changes that we've made as always the team is down in the description below there is a raw paste poker paste check out the details and if you're crazy enough try the team out for yourself but we've got the Mewtwo Mega Mewtwo X there I've put taunt on it got rid of the poison jab we weren't really utilizing that in our last two episodes so feel like with how weak we are to Trick Room, which really got highlighted in yesterday's episode. I feel like that taunt is quite useful there. Now, with the Butterfree, I've taken off the Focus Sash. We've bulked it up a little bit. I've given it the Adrenaline Orb because we're seeing a lot of Incineroar leading against us. So that Adrenaline Orb gives us a speed boost, and then we can go to town with Sleep Powder from there or Tailwind if we want. And also, I've put Rage Powder on as well just to give a little bit additional support. And linked in with that Rage Powder, we've changed up the Rayquaza. We've went with a more setup variant with Swords Dance. And Dragon Ascent Extreme Speed, one of my favourite sets that uh, we've got access to that you don't really see too much now going forward in the series. Um, and that kind of links in again with a bit more support that we got from the Inferno, taking off that Bright Powder that just made Precipice Blades and Origin Pulse more accurate crazily enough um, and we've went with the King's Rock on there and put Fling on as the fourth option there so we've got like at least a double fake out in most situations kept the data the same and the diggers be the same because the diggers be's been doing a lot of work so excited to get into it today without further ado the music's on we're ready to go so let's just hop on the battle spot and hope it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent but as always guys if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to leave a like on the video do subscribe to the channel and uh, as always leave your comments I really do love hearing from you all about all sorts about the team about what you'd like to see maybe next week about changes that you'd make to the current team if you were playing it the only thing that I've got a little bit of an issue with uh, in the current team right now is that we've got two restricted and both of them Mega Evolve and it really does cause that kind of conflict when you want to bring both of them to a battle you can only Mega Evolve one and it does cause a little bit of conflict there and I think ugh, it's just a bit frustrating sometimes because you think oh, you really want to be bringing both restricted Pokemon to every single battle that you can but it, you're kind of really your hands are tied for most of the time if you if you do that but we've got <laughs> our first opponent of the episode so let's get into it Right, we've got Absol, Gliscor, um, Shift Tree. It's not Shift Tree, it's uh, Trevenant. Um, oh, come on. Let's think of these Pokemon Mimikyu, Araquanid, and Tox Toxapex, I think that is the one. So it's definitely another roulette opponent here, I would feel. Um, maybe Mega Absol, which would be very cool. Very Trick Room based po team. So we need to be able to try and shut this down if we can. Uh, it's going to be difficult, though, for sure. Uh, because the taunt is definitely needed for me too. Do we go with Infernape as well for that double 
I guess with the flings, not too bad either. Um, yeah, it's pretty tough, isn't it? Oh, our opponent has, um, it looks like they've dropped out, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, I would have probably picked Rayquaza and probably Butterfree as our last one there. Uh, we'll lock in, but I think it's going to... Unfortunately, revert out. The roulette team for ourselves was just too strong for our opponent, which is a bit unfortunate. So, never mind. We'll um, we'll hop straight back on. And hopefully, like I say, it doesn't take too long to find next opponent. But like I was saying, uh, the only conflict that I've got a little bit of an issue with at the moment is between our restricted Pokemon, just because of the fact they both Mega. And it's a little bit of a shame that after so many weeks we've got Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo X that has been something that a lot of you have asked for and we've got it with another Mega Pokemon that just feels a little bit more viable in this format and kind of puts us off bringing it most times which is a little bit of a shame so if you have and you would like to see more Mewtwo X in coming weeks definitely vote for it because it's definitely a Pokemon I would definitely throw back in here um, at another point if you want Mewtwo then that's the, that's the other option because we can just have Mewtwo we can then have Mega Mewtwo X and then Mega Mewtwo Y throughout the whole week. That's an option. Um, it looks like it's going to take a little bit longer to find our first opponent than planned. So what I'll do right now is uh, I'll cut the video and we'll come back when we've got that first opponent of the episode. And we've got our first opponent of the episode. It is, well, second technically. First one, hopefully, that doesn't drop out. So we'll get over straight into team preview. Right, we've got a team of Xerneas, Mewtwo, Smeagol, Incineroar, Togekiss, and Alolimux. So not as taxing as the last team to remember. Um, but we've got Mewtwo, Xerneas combination. You've got lots and lots of support around this team. You're the the Alolimux probably there is some sort of trick room check, I would imagine. Then you've got the Smeagol. Uh, fast fake out, can put things to sleep with Spall, redirection alongside that Togekiss that has redirection speed control as well with Tailwind and then the Incineroar. Going to be another fake out user also with Intimidate, a nice switch in for something like Mewtwo and gives Xerneas really good protection and then that Alolan Muck stuck on the end like I say. So um, if we can, I, I really want to bring the Ditto here because if you look at the team, if we can transform into the Alolan Muck, I think we can do a lot of work against this opposing team and there's also the chance of transforming into uh, a boosted Xerneas as well. Um, Okay, I'm going to lead Mewtwo, and I'm going to lead Infernape. I am going to bring Ditto, for sure. Do we bring Diggersby here? Because Diggersby could be quite good against the Muck, Cineral. Um, we know it's alright against the Xerneas, but I just feel like... Uh, yeah, because then we're not we're not got the conflict of the double the double Mega, have we, then? So, let's do that. This might be Mewtwo X's time to shine. Who knows? Let's see how we can get on in this one. Hopefully we can get a victory. We're sitting at, ooh, what are we now? Uh, one win, three losses. <laughs> oh, the joys, the joys. My Pokemon spirit has been broke through this series. I'm only messing around. I'm only messing around, honestly. It's fun. Like, I'm not. I'm not. I am, I, I am thoroughly enjoying this series. I think it's good. And you know what? I really do really like the challenge of uh, of this series i think it's it's really tough and i think um i enjoy it i like playing these different pokemon and you know i cannot complain so we'll go for the fake out into the smeagol we'll go for a taunt into that xerneas prevent it at least from setting up and then um we'll see what we can do the following turn maybe we can get rid of that smeagol and uh maybe fling onto the xerneas we've got to watch out for follow me of course uh but me too. X. Here we go, popping out for the first time in the series this week. Xerneas just going to protect. We're going to see this mega probably spiky shield, I'd imagine. No, it's going to have its sash broken now. Ooh, damn. Uh, we could have went for the taunt in the Smeagol. Now we can't really prevent uh, the follow me setup, can we? Bit of a shame, bit of a shame. Um, hmm. So. Do we go for the taunt or do we just get rid of the Smeagol now? Uh, I think get rid of the Smeagol now and we can... Maybe it's better to bring Ditto in. Uh, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to get rid of The Ditto is going to be our lifeline here, I think, to get rid of the Xerneas. Um, okay, so if we get rid of the 
if we get rid of the Smeagol with his own headbutt and then we get just get some damage onto the Xerneas I think um, although we could fling it because we should get rid of the Smeagol if it follows me yeah so Mewtwo will get rid of it we'll fling onto the Xerneas and then we've got the taunt the following turn but I would expect the Incineroar to come in. This is Zen Head, but it would have been it would have been more reliable to go with the Law Kick there. I'm like 100% because that Zen Head but can miss. There's the King's Rock fling. There we go. Gives us a little more room to operate. But uh, like I say, it doesn't really help us out too much if the Incineroar comes in now, which is still the problem that we're going to have to deal with. Hmm. It's a toga kiss. <laughs> more redirection. God damn it. <laughs> oh, the joys. Um, Alright, uh, we can't taunt, well we can taunt because the Togekiss will take a lot longer to take down. Um, um, yeah, there's like, there's not much we can do, I think, um, let's get... I'm gonna get Incineroar out of here, uh, Infernip out of here right now. I'm gonna bring in Diggers. No, 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 no. I'll go for the taunt into the Xerneas. I need to not misclick. It's just because Diggers be the one Pokemon that has Protect that I've got access to outside of Mewtwo. And the next turn, if we don't get the taunt onto the Xerneas, it means we can allow Mewtwo to go down to um, a Xerneas attack and then bring Ditto in for free on that opposing Xerneas. Um, there's a taunt. So we'll stop that follow me for the rest of the time. Ah, that's interesting. Just seeing a Moonblast come out. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. I got, I'm not bringing I'm not bringing Ditto in just yet. I really don't want to. Uh, we'll bring Infernip in. For sure. Um, and I'll fake out the Togekiss. And I will go for a. I'll go for the Groundium. Groundinium into Xerneas. It's just the thing is, it could potentially go for. It could go for Protect here. It does go for the Protect. It's pretty obvious that it does, but. Um, it's so risky when it's still potentially got that live uh, Power Herb active. That's what. I, I just don't. I just don't want to allow it to get to get it uh, to get it going. Yeah, and I mean the next turn, what we can potentially do is go Flare Blitz and Earthquake, and that should be enough to get the Xerneas. Um, and if my opponent doesn't switch the Togekiss out into into something, I just really want to get rid of this, this Xerneas before I do anything else. And it will mean us losing uh, Infernip, but at the same time, I feel like getting rid of the Xerneas is a much more worthwhile cause. And we still got Ditto on the back to come in. So hopefully it'll be fine. Hopefully Digger's Beat isn't the, the thing that gets targeted here. Hopefully Infernape gets targeted by the Xerneas. Um, or hopefully we see a Geomancy. That would be, best case scenario would be a Geomancy here. Flare Blitz. Geomancy, okay, that's that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see now on Earthquake. The, the bunny, again, being the ultimate Xerneas counter here. We will lose Infernip, which is a little bit sad, but Diggersby's probably going to take uh, an Air Slash, I'd imagine. Um, and then we've got Ditto to come in, and potentially it'll be Mewtwo uh, where that Xerneas is, I would imagine, being the last restricted, which could be good. Scarfed, Mewtwo. I'll take it every day. Uh, there's a dozen gleam. Diggersby. I mean, it's not ideal, is it? But it, it takes it. And at least that taunt's still in effect. So, Ditto coming in. And what are we going to see? Me too. Okay. So, we've got Scarf Me too. They've got. It's a pity because it could. It probably. It's probably me <laughs> making me too. Why? <laughs> um, okay. There's the pressure. Pressure. Okay, what have we got? Oh man, I think this is this is Mega Mewtwo X as well. <laughs> ah, what do we lock into here, though? Do we lock into uh, Rock Slide? Um, 
Oh, Psycho Cut. Psycho Cut's probably the one. Uh, let's go for a Psycho Cut into me too. And let's go for a Wild Charge into the Togekiss. I feel like Diggersby's going to get its ass handed to it here though with a low kick. 100%. We could have protected maybe. In the toga kiss with Dazzling Gleam. I don't know if it's gonna. It's looking very good for us right now. Uh, yeah, there's a Mega Mewtwo X. So let's see. I mean, Mewtwo probably has a better matchup against Mega Mewtwo X. Anyway, so the Psycho Cut. Oh, it's not even doing. Okay, Rock Slide. As long as we don't get flinched, we might be able to get rid of this toga kiss potentially. Can we? Come on, bunny. Okay, we do decent damage there. It's not too bad. We survive. Oh, it's got a berry. Of course it's got a berry. Oh, man. Togekiss. That was the Pokemon to... Ah, oh, yeah, and there's the Dustin Glean. That'll be enough to get digs. We can't We can't win this now. There's no way. There is no way. The taunt wears off. Um, yeah, there's just no way we can do this now. Because the Psycho Cut's not going to be enough to get the Togekiss. Um, we're too, we're too weak. We're gonna lose this. There's a follow me, of course. Too much protection. I think maybe Ray would have been better here than me too. But yeah, it's just not strong enough. Another rock slide. Man, it does like a lot more than what I thought. And I knew me too. X is pretty strong, but not that strong. Anyway, good game to our opponent. Um, ah, just not co not convinced, not convinced. But what can we do? It was a fun game. We nearly got there. At least the bunny did some work. Um, maybe self-sacrificing our uh, inferno probably wasn't the best thing to do. Maybe not earthquaking. We may have been a little bit better going for something else. And in hindsight, knowing that it was Mega Mewtwo X, maybe Togekiss could have been a better option. I don't know. Because then you've got the Rock Slide to contend with. We don't have Intimidate. Which makes it really difficult. Um, hmm. I don't know. It would have been tricky. It would have been tricky. Um, Dazzling Game Rock Slide. There's not really much we can get around with. Like, Diggersby takes the Rock Slide pretty well, but it doesn't take the Dazzling Gleam too well. Um, hmm. Might have been better doubling into the Togekiss prior to the Mewtwo. I just thought Psycho Cut would do a little bit more. It's kind of neutral, isn't it? So I would have thought it would have done a little bit more, but obviously not. Um, but we've got our next opponent, Reeves. Uh, on 1469 some tasty points that we can try and get our hands on so we'll hop over into team preview So they've got a team of Lucario, Shiftry, uh, Eveltal, Groudon, Como or and Gyarados So how small does Lucario look in this team preview? It's like the tiniest. It's like a chibi version of Lucario Chibi Lucario Um, but yeah, Lucario is probably gonna be the mega of the team. We're really gonna see the Z-move on Como or uh, maybe double Z-move maybe on uh, the Eveltal Potentially got another mega in Gyarados as well kind of conflicts with Growled on lots of dark in this team though, and it's a shame that we don't have any fairy types of our own to uh, take advantage of. My opponent's got no intimidate outside of the Gyarados, so it makes it difficult for our adrenaline orb to get activated. Um, and they've got a really fast fake out user in that shift tree with the sun, but we can get around that with a Rayquaza and Inferno bleed for sure. That's not bad, I don't think. Um, I think we'll bring Ditto again because I just love Ditto and hmm, do we bring Butterfree here or do we bring Diggersby? Diggersby's great against Groudon um, and I think unless it's like max speed Groudon we've got a good chance. Diggersby does well against Lucario as well if we can get any sort of speed control but outside of that probably not looking like it uh, because we're not brought Butterfree so uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that we can we can rock through this team with Infernip and Rayquaza. I'm feeling confident. Like the the fling can do stuff. Rayquaza is going to be able to beat the Lucario. Um, I guess it's going to be the Veltal that's going to be a bit more of a problem. But 
it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, isn't it? Um, okay, so. Uh, Iveltal and Groudon. Hmm. Now. Do we... Do we do, do we fake out the Veltal? Like, my first thoughts are, fake out the Veltal sword stance. Um... And if we lose Infernip, then that's not the worst thing in the world. We get potentially Ditto or Diggers be in. Um, to see if Velto can set up speed control, it's also got access to far play. The Groudon's not really putting too much pressure on our Wear Quasar. Uh, we can Mega Revolt to get rid of the Sun as well. Uh, like, what's the Groudon going to do? Maybe protect? I don't know. Uh, but it's likely just throw out a Precipice Blades here, I would imagine. So we'll Mega Evolve, and a plus two Dragon Ascent will be enough to get the Veltal, for sure. Uh, so there's the Desert the Land going away, there's a Fake Out into the Veltal. And you know what, if we can manage to get through this turn with Infernape, then we've got access to that Fling as well. Uh, Precipice Blades, miss! No miss. And there's no way Infernape takes this, unfortunately. Um, but not the worst thing in the world because now we do get ourselves access to our Diggersby um, that can come in and it can ground him the Groudon and then we can definitely get rid of this Evalto with a Dragon Ascent and to get around it you're going to have to bring in um, the Gyarados so let's go for that Dragon Ascent and let's see. Hopefully, we like we could see a sucker punch here. Um, or the, the, I think the worst case scenario would be the Groudon switching out, Gyarados coming in, the Veltal surviving, foul playing us back. But in that case, there we still are on our Sash. Diggers be still in a decent spot to potentially pick up the Gyarados. And next turn with Wild Charge, we haven't lost anything there, and we're still on our Sash with our Rayquaza, so we haven't lost anything. So we're not going to see any switches out. We're going to be able to get this. Iveltal, um, more than enough to pick up the knockout, and we should be able to pick up a double knockout here, which should set us up for the, the latter part of this game, potentially. Better being the bunny is faster, and it will be more than enough to get this ground on with this tectonic rage, with its massive ears that are about to pound the ground and create a crater to drop down primal ground on in. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, every time, the bunny gets gone. I'm just like, yeah, this is this is this is what this series is all about. These moments, I swear, Diggers Beast had more KOs against the the most popular restricteds in this format than I think anything in this series has had so far. Um, it's a bit of an exaggeration, but let's not take all the credit away from Diggers Beast doing a, a great job, my little bunny friend. So we're gonna see Lucario come in. It's in a bad place right now. And the Gyarados also not in the best of places because we've got the Wild Charge there that can um, definitely pick up a knockout. And if it's not max speed timid or jolly, then we will outspeed it 100%. Um, I don't know which one is going to be the Mega. Could be Gyarados, you know. I really could because... Um, I think Lucario is more likely to have follow me we'll go for the dragon ascent into lucario yeah there it is it's just about being able to pick up the lucario because it's i think likely sash now it makes more sense than anything else no huh I'm surprised. Unless it is Mega Lucario as well. That would make a lot of sense. So there's a wild charge. If it was regular Gyarados, we would have 100% picked up the knockout there. But it's not. And there's a Dragon Tail. Take us down to our Sash. Not even that. But it does force us out. And it does give Ditto a free, free switch in. Just to come back in and uh, say, Hi, Mega Gyarados. Let's have our own Ditto Mega Gyarados. So, 
<laughs> oh, gotta love this. Ditto doing all the work here. Um, but I feel like Diggersby's going to be the one now to pick up pick up the game, pick up another knockout and do all the work. So we've got Dragon Kick. Oh, we've got Giga Impact as well. Should we just do it? Should we just, should we do it? Let's, let's protect Diggersby and give Ditto a little bit of joy. Because we've got Giga Impact and that'll be enough to get the Gyarados. Or you would hope it would. Even though, if it doesn't, we'll be fine. Because Diggersby, we know how it speeds Gyarados. It's not got Dragon Dance, we've seen from the moveset. We do go first with our Scarf, and uh, there we go. Pick up the win. So, very good game to my opponent. And we finally, after after a whole day of no wins, we pick up a victory, uh, which puts us on. Let's ha let's let's get the, the marker pen out. Um, what are we? Wins, we've got two, and losses, we've got one, two, three, four. <gasps> oh, okay. It's fine. I keep saying this, it's fine. It's not really fine, but it is fine. We've got four more episodes, so we can tie it up tomorrow and then come back like a, like a fighting machine on Friday and, and finish super positive this end of this week, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. We're going to activate some buttons tomorrow, change things up a little bit for the end of the week, and then we're going to finish and uh, storm roll through the, the battle spot and finish well over 1,500 by the end of the week. So that is a guarantee. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, um, and I hope you have all enjoyed this episode today, and uh, we'll be back with more roulette action tomorrow. Make sure you do tune in because we are going to activate some of those bonus buttons and not just one, there'll be a few activated. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you all again for the next episode. So until then, take care and bye-bye.